Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you attending uh, my CLE class here today. Um, we're going to talk about arguably the most exciting uh, topic in the business world today, especially for lawyers, insurance. Now I know by now you're sitting there saying, what in the world are you talking about? Of course, insurance is thought to be boring. When I say insurance, by the way, I'm talking about lawyers' professional liability, office business insurance with data breach, and your workers' comp insurance. And a lot of lawyers don't want to either uh, spend any time with that. Uh, they have, you found your broker, whether it be uh, someone you go to church with or temple, um, you know, through the internet, maybe they write your auto and home insurance. Uh, through a phone book or anything, and I don't begrudge you for any of that. I mean, how else would you find that? But the analogy I like to use is if, if either you or someone you loved had a, a terrible heart problem, any type of heart problem, would you contact your local doctor because he's a good guy, he's your next-door neighbor, goes to the same country club, or would you contact a cardiologist? And furthermore, would you contact a cardiologist uh, the best money you could afford or the best that money could buy, whether that be in your city or many states away. Of course, it would be the latter. So the same should apply to your financial health where, uh, for example, your lawyer's professional liabilities we'll get into in this uh, CLE class here. There is so much that goes into that and there's so many keys because the insurance industry, let's face it, I'll get off topic slightly here, a lot of times they ask a rhetorical question why are insurance companies in business? And a lot of people say, oh, to protect you in a time of need, uh, to help you out when you have a claim, to pay your claims. Those are certainly things they do. There's no doubt about it. But what it comes down to is very simply this, that at the end of the day, they're in business to make a profit. Okay? So what does that mean in a nutshell? It means they're going to offer you the minimum protection for the maximum premium, allowable by law. They can't rip you off. But in the same context, what they want to do is limit their exposure and share the risk with you. Well, I'm here to, I'll share with you in today's CLE class that there are many different ways where you can leverage, turn the tables on the insurance industry to your benefit and to do it at, at sometimes zero cost and certainly within hundreds of dollars a year. So that's the lawyer's professional liability. Wait to see everything there. The office business insurance, number two of the three that we'll discuss today, is going to be that is an all-encompassing and a lot of lawyers say I'm a solo law firm or there's a couple of us uh, uh, lawyers practicing and we have a support staff or two I don't have a whole lot or I do my practice out of a, a Regis type deal where you, all the uh, furniture is supplied I take my laptop home I don't have an exposure and the answer to that is there are all kinds of pitfalls and all kinds of gaps and uh, that will leave you naked, and we'll get into naked here in a second, uh, the title of my book, The Naked Lawyer. And last but not least is workers' comp. Most states require you to carry workers' comp. A lot of lawyers are out of compliance with that. Sure, it's a low exposure, but at the end of the day, we see the carpal tunnels losses. Someone goes to pick up a box, they get hurt, you know, and all of the above, and you don't have it. And for the hundreds of dollars a year that it costs, it's definitely not worth risking it. So... Anyhow, that's the story of what we'll get into today. Um, uh, who am I, by the way? I'm Michael Carroll. I began my insurance career out of uh, Bowling Green State University uh, back in 1987. Uh, I decided about 15 years ago to start specializing in niches, uh, lawyers being my favorite niche of all. And uh, uh, I like to pick, pick a niche that is very underserved from the insurance industry's viewpoint. There are only a handful of companies that write lawyers' professional liability, and I like to also to work with people that are very much the same that I am, and lawyers I have found to be incredibly hardworking business owners because at the end of the day, when you practice law, you own a law business, and you are an entrepreneur. But I find you to be very uh, a direct, as I am, as you can imagine, uh, as you'll get to know me through this uh, presentation, the CLE class, and it's one of those deals where and they're decision makers. They're not afraid to make decisions and to dig down deep and to do what they need to do. But my, national, my office is nationally located in Maumee, Ohio, a suburb of, uh, of the bustling metropolis known as Toledo, Ohio, about an hour south of Detroit, an hour and a half due west of Cleveland, Ohio, in the northwest uh, corner of uh, Ohio. 
Uh, I've been married for 28 years. I have four children, three by birth, one by adoption, girl, boy, 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 24, 21, 20, and 14, wonderful kids and what have you. And uh, having kids is a lot of fun, and the boys are all pretty good athletes, and my daughter is an absolute treat. But uh, that's who I am, and specializing with lawyers is, uh, is what I do. Uh, nationally, my firm has been recognized over the last 14 years as a best practices brokerage, insurance brokerage. And in fact, twice in the last 15 years, uh, the uh, insuring lawyer, the name of my company, has earned top six performer nationally. So I guess at the end of the day, I didn't do that. You've got, unless you're uh, legally blind, you can look at this face and know I didn't earn that on my look. So uh, we certainly uh, work our butts off for you lawyers. So, all right, let's start in the presentation here that um, what you're looking at is uh, Lawyers, a lot of times could this happen to you? The definition of insurance is transference of risk, okay? And transference of risk is very simply uh, you pay the insurance company to take care of any of these. You trade them a premium for if this, that, or the other happens, you're in a situation where they take care of it, less your deductible, and in some claims there is no deductible. But that's the whole idea of that. And a lot of lawyers think this will never happen to me. It's the same as car insurance. Most of us, I'm sure, watching today, myself included, I drive very safely. Maybe I like to drive a little fast, but I consider myself a safe driver. I uh, haven't had an accident since I was 19 years old. I'm an old man now over the age of 50. But the point is, do I forego car insurance and, uh, or do I carry low limits? And do I try to figure that out on my own? Of course, I'm in the industry and I know all the pitfalls and what have you. So why would you do the same with your law firm? So, you know, from a lot of times people think it's going to be a tornado or a fire or I'm going to get sued for some type of negligence. We'll get into the whole thing. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong in a law firm. You can have from discrimination lawsuits to uh, sexual harassment lawsuits to uh, unfair termination lawsuits to your professional liability uh, having you have to pay a deductible for some garbage lawsuit that has nothing to do with you, but you have a disgruntled client who didn't feel you represented them properly because they didn't get the end result they wanted or anything like that. So that's a situation there where you need to really examine that and allow a professional, the expert, so you don't have to figure it out on your own to do that. But we'll get into specifics in a second here. Um, also, workers' comp, we talked about carpal tunnel, a back injury or something like that. So... These are all the things that could go on. Um, let's see, uh, and, and you don't definitely want to go out of business for something that you have no control over, hence the definition, again, of insurance to transfer the risk. All right, now, going on to the next uh, subject here, we're going to talk about the biggest and hottest thing going right now is data breach. Uh, 